What's up, guys? This is the second episode of the Dwayne Haskins career revival, and we will be doing the NFL draft, so we're just going to get right into it. I want to immediately trade out of the number one spot because I know the Jets will give up a ton to get Trevor Lawrence. So we are going to trade with the Jets and hopefully get a haul out of this number one overall pick. So we got the number two overall pick, the 23rd overall pick, and a third round pick for the number one overall pick. And we all know who they're picking. They're going to pick Trevor Lawrence. So the Jets pick Trevor Lawrence, the number one overall pick. So we are up next, and I thought about trading out, but why not get the left tackle of the future, Penne Sewell? Easily the best left tackle in the draft. Probably will be a generational talent in the next 10 to 15 years. We can replace Dwayne Brown with him in the coming years if this does go more than one year, which I'm not 100% sure it will. But we do have the 23rd overall pick as well, so we could trade up. And there is someone that I am eyeing, and that is Kyle Pitts out of he's kind of a um, tight end slash wide receiver hybrid so we used that 23rd overall pick and some extra third fourth round picks to trade up and get the ninth overall pick which you will see here and we uh, it was between Kyle Pitts and Patrick Certain but I ended up going with Kyle Pitts. We'll use him as a tight end slash wide receiver. Kind of like a Jimmy Graham, but we'll use him right. Put him out as a wide receiver. Um, won't have him block too much. So with our third pick in the third round, we will select Terrence Marshall out of LSU. He's a 72 overall. Probably won't play too much this year. This is more about the future. Um, if we don't bring back Lockett. Our next pick, Jacoby Stevens. I didn't have that many guys uh, scouted. I just liked his measurables and his speeds. So I kind of just guessed on that one. Didn't guess right. Um, we traded away our fifth round pick for a pick next year. In case we do um, play another year. If we don't win the Super Bowl this year. Um, and then our next pick, we also traded away. There's, I just didn't have that many guys scouted, so there wasn't any point wasting the pick. So another, we trade for another pick next year, fourth rounder from San Francisco. I know teams don't really do that much, but that was just too, too good to pass. And then again, just decided to get depth for linemen. Um, both our first pick, Penny Sewell. I think that's how you say it, Penny Sewell. Um, second pick, Kyle Pitts. I'll change his number to um, 87. Also, I I'll change um, Walter Jones' number from 71 to probably 74. But Terrence Marshall, we got in the third round, Jacoby Stevens, and uh, I forget the other guy's name. But here we are in preseason. We have an O-line mentorship for Damian Lewis. So we will upgrade his finesse pass blocking because that is extremely low. I think it's in like the 60s. But that will bring his finesse bl pass blocking up. And we sim a week to the Buffalo week. We get another O-line mentorship. Um, and this will upgrade his awareness. Uh, definitely need an upgrade there. And we cut day. I'm not gonna show all the cuts. We just cut our two practice squad quarterbacks. Um, so we're gonna have um, RG3 as the backup. I put Travis Homer on the practice squad. Penny Hart's gonna go on the practice squad. Um, Freddie Swain, I want to get on the field. He just might be too low of an overall to even get on the field. But. Um, LJ Collier and Marquise Blair have uh, upgrades. I'm going to upgrade uh, LJ Collier, 
his power rushing. Uh, Marquise Blair and uh, LJ Cully are both going to have starting jobs this year. So hopefully they can live up to their first and second round pick potential. But this is going to be it. See you guys next time. And next time will be week one.